Hey guys, welcome back to Erin and Copenhagen. I haven't done a food video for a while and I've been craving something specific lately, so I wanted to share another easy to make Danish recipe with you guys. I'm going to show you how to make Haugrønskula, which translates directly as oat balls in English. They're super easy to make, but it seems like every Dane I meet has their own variation of them. I know many countries and cultures have their own version of this kind of snack, but I'm going to show you the Danish way. My husband makes these so good, so I've asked him to share his secret recipe for this video. If you're Danish yourself and you grew up with these, I'd love to hear down in the comments if you and your family make them any differently to how we make them. Do you have any top secret ingredients or tips you can share? Let me know. Okay, so we're gonna need one cup of rolled oats, half a cup of regular non-rolled oats, six tablespoons of cocoa powder, three tablespoons of light brown sugar, a bowl of dry coconut flakes, around 70 grams of salted butter. You're also gonna need some freshly brewed coffee. You'll only need a splash, so it's a good excuse to make a little extra and pour yourself a cup while you're busy making these. If you don't have espresso powder like I'm using here, you can just use instant coffee. So begin by mixing together all the dry ingredients in a bowl. I'm going to put on some gloves just so the food doesn't get under my long nails, but obviously you don't have to do this. It's just, as you can see, we're going to get right in there. So we're just mixing the butter in really well with our fingers. And then our splash of coffee. These aren't gonna taste like coffee, the coffee just acts to enhance the cocoa flavor. My husband also usually recommends tasting it at this point to make sure you're happy with the ratios of everything. For example, if you like it a little bit sweeter, add some more sugar. If you'd like the coffee taste to come through a bit more, then add some more coffee, whatever tastes best to you. So once you're happy, start rolling a small ball. About this size is good and then press it and roll it around in a bowl of dry coconut flakes start setting them aside in a fresh clean bowl Once you've rolled them all, cover them with cling film and pop them into the fridge. They're going to need a couple hours at least to set. Yum! Now that they're ready, there's only one thing left to do. Set up a little hygge spot and test how well I made them with some expert Danish taste testers. Luckily, they were a hit. Let me know down in the comments if you've eaten these before, and for the Danes, what variations do you use in your recipes? Thanks so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.